<laughs> the rubber stamp, uh, much used in the office, but I like them for the novelty value, and there are some toys also involved with rubber stamps. So I've got uh, a small handful here to, to demonstrate with. One, two, three, four. I've got some old paper there, but I'll lift it up in a minute. Let me show you the first two, which are the, the I think, the most delightful ones, which are the, the, the children's ones, which is exactly what kids love doing. There's this one here is the first one. There's a little bear. Bring up the camera to show you. And on the bottom, it's got, oh yes, that's going to roll. Can you see his footprints? That's what you're going to see. Okay, let's have a go. So, oh, I'll keep it on down. I'll get rid of the old bit of paper and let's try pushing it on a pad. Well, I'll show you putting it on a pad as well. It's an important part of the thing, isn't it? A bit of that and a bit of that and a bit of that. And let's see what it does. Here's Yogi Bear at it. And there's his footprints. Footprints for the bear, isn't it? Wonderful. Do one more and so on. Anyway, got the idea of that one. The second one is a little engine. More difficult to focus this one, but I'll have a go because it's a clear one. It's a little steam engine. I'll try the back sheet behind it. And on the bottom of it is the pad, which is going to turn around. What's it going to make? Well, we'll see. I'll do it on the same bit of paper, but I think you'll cope with that one. I need to work on the pad first. Make sure there's plenty of... Do you, do you see that? What, what, what happens there? It lights up too. No sound. It should go chuff chuff. You'll have to embed that in your mind. And what's going to happen when we do it? Let's have a go at this down here. Oh, isn't that delightful? Carriages galore, a whole train of carriages all following after the engine. Isn't that beautiful? What a nice concept. Very, very nice idea for kids. There's two rubber stamps, which you've seen the result before, but this is what happens when you actually perform them. Let me just turn a bit of paper over. Please. I've had these for a long time, and I keep bashing out versions of it. Here's the first one. Boom, 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 boom. Put it on nice and evenly. Push it down. Uh, we now got something. I'll have to take a bit of paper off to show you what it says, actually. And that says... And then you turn it over and you can read the rest of it. It says thank you at the end. So that's something I showed recently, but this is the actual stamp it comes from. <laughs> and the other one, which is equally charming, this one here I've had for a very long time. Let's see if it's going to work as well. Uh, well, it's a bit rough that actually, you know. It's just, no, well, no, we'll, we'll do it anyway. It's one of those self-referential ones. Do you remember it? A rubber stamp, yes. And you just bash it on bits of paper where it doesn't matter too much. And it's apologising for itself, basically, which is a, oh, it's a way sweet little idea. And that's where they came from. I had those specially made for me about uh, 30 years ago, I think it was. The last one I can show is one I have shown before, but it, it works so well. I must do it again. It's a nice one, this, because it's like a key fob. When you take it off like this, and you push it on a bit of paper, it's already, it's already pre-inked, I think it is. It has a little tick effect. We are a little tick saying, OK. They're a bit rough and ready, but um, the idea is a little thing where you just back it on paper saying, tick, 
OK, tick OK, and so on. So there are some very clever little um, rubber stamps out there, of which I think the best, for, certainly for children, are these sort of ones here. I've got a feeling about one or two more here. But nice, nice idea, that. Think rubber stamps. They're fun. Thank <laughs> you.